The blunt and brutal reality is that woke SJW Disney has been losing on all fronts in recent times. They've been losing on the streaming side, they've been losing on in the, even the theme parks, in the box office, and a big factor of this, because they're trying to blame COVID or blame this or blame that, what well, doesn't explain that does not explain it with the fact that Universal has actually been succeeding in recent times. They've had their Mario Brothers film, which broke a billion dollars. Their theme parks are busier than ever. Why? Well, because part of it is that when you attack your own customer base, which is families and children, you're gonna have some problems there. You know, I used to work in retail, and you know, you have to have a level of respect for the customers or else you're not going to have any left. And when Disney came out and pushed an anti-family agenda of, you know, supporting the right of teachers to push homosexuality propaganda on children, or slipping all these woke SJW themes into your kids' films. Because I've said before, the reason why people watch Disney films or go to Disney World is because you want to escape the insanity of everyday politics in America or really anywhere else. But when you bring that into your films and into your theme parks, you're going to have problems. And since going full in on this woke issue because they've always been kind of subtly pushing it but then it's never been this full steam ahead if you know what i mean they've been slipping it more and more openly but as the result uh because the people they're trying to pander to are a bunch of basically childless blue-haired feminists SJW, you know uh some of them are homosexuals i mean just basically people who are a loud and annoying minority on the internet not the silent majority who are who are protesting with the wallets with our wallets i mean keeping our wallets closed so What's the result? Well, you lose. And, and because Disney's becomes too big to where they think they can ever fail, well, guess what? Reality hits them in the head. And now their theme parks are practically empty. Shorter wait times than ever. I mean, they're having to lower the prices, and even that is not helping. Having to, to cut back on jobs, having to like cut back on streaming content, everything they can, and they're still failing. They're still losing billions in the streaming service alone. They've lost hundreds of millions of dollars in the recent box office flop. They've been producing box after box office flop after flop after flop, in, like repeatedly in a row, and they don't seem to get it because the definition of insanity is when you do the same thing over and over and expect different results. They don't seem to get it. The reason why Universal is succeeding is because, well, it's it's simply being called it's called being apolitical. They're just trying to entertain families, and now families who would have supported Disney are now going to Universal because Universal actually has their best interests in mind in terms of not trying to shove in all the stuff in their films. See, you don't have to take either side. You just don't take any stance at all. You can have your own personal views if you're an employee or whatever else, but as a company, you're apolitical. That's how it should be. Entertainment. You know, I, I support separation of church and state. I also think there should be separation of entertainment and politics. You know, simple as that. And Disney has still refused to just acknowledge that fact as they continue to just fail and lose more and more money. I've never seen a company so determined to lose money. So I wanted to show you, just wanted to point that out. They've been failing on all fronts and just can't seem to grasp why. So they're going to keep failing until they realize that when you essentially disrespect your own customer base, you're going to lose those customers. So, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.